Hey everybody, welcome back to Into the Gungeon. So today, I think we'll do a bullet run. We have the bullet unlocked now, so let's do a bullet run. Have a bit of fun with the little fella. And, um, do the stuff. So with the bullet, we have the sword. Of course, the sword, which shoots stuff at full health. It shoots swords at the sword. The hero sword, you know, Zelda. Legend of Zelda and all that. And we have the cape, which, um, which negates all contact damage. Immunity to contact damage and rolling into enemies deals increased damage. So that's pretty cool. Dangerous, but cool. All of that doesn't really matter though, because the sword is what we're here for. The sword is the shit, yo. What's with all the explosions? Calm down, game. So the sword is strong. Very strong. Very strong. He's, he's a very strong character. You can really... You can really add to his, his strength by picking up a bunch of passives or getting the YB Shrine. Of course. YB Shrine will work with the sword. You may have seen the, the video that I've done before with the sword. I mean the bullet, rather. The sword the sword character would be good as well. No, the video I've done with the, the bullet or the stream that I've done. Oh. Interesting. I don't think I can afford. No. Maybe. I'll maybe come back. We'll see. We'll see how our money situation is at the end of the floor. But aye, the bullet is just fucking strong. The video that I've done with the stream that I've done before with the YB Shrine was nutty as all hell. It just... It can't be stopped, which is good for us. Because sometimes you want an easy go of the game. You want to go into the game, you want to be like, you know, have an easy game, easy life, easy skins, rather than struggle through with, say, the convict or another character, you know. Become the bullet and do all the good stuff. So what do we need? We want maybe a good gun would be nice. Oh, that, that's usually the one that gets me. The grenade is usually what takes away some health. So realistically, we want to stay at full health at all times, so an armor piece or five would be good. So something like the... I'll open it. Nah, the singularity. Not exactly that great, but fair enough. I was told that the sword can uncover secret rooms if you use the, the projectile and not the sword itself. But I haven't actually seen it happen, so I'm not sure. Singularity though, hmm. It's not my idea of a great... Yeah, it sucks. Well, you know. It's one way of putting it. It's one way of putting it. It's hard to use, I find. It's, for, it's hard to, like, place it in a position that's advantageous. We'll try and use it in the next room, and I'll show you what's up with it. Probably buy a key if it's on offer. Oh, the scope, though. The scope can be really good. So not only does it improve accuracy, but I'm told it also buffs damage on um, rifle weapons. Let's see how much money we can accumulate over the course of the, the first floor. Of course, we don't need to worry about the key as much. The whole buy a key immediately thing is kind of out the window at this point. We don't really need to care about it. It's a shame that ammo dropped. Because we can't do shit with it. The rat's going to be taking it. Alright, we'll see. We'll probably get a key drop. I'll bank on it. I'll bank on a key drop. I'm a lucky man. We get key drops. These things happen. Right, well, singularity in a biggish room. This room doesn't really need a singularity. <laughs> We'll use it when it's, it's best used. I right, we'll slap it down here. Ah. Ooh. Indeed. Wow. The curve! <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of scary. It's a little bit, um, you know, all over the place. I guess you would say. Let's try not take any damage at all. Ah, that's good money, that is. Good money! Good money. So I need 35 for... Yeah, that, that's enough to buy both, I think. Is it? Is my math correct? Yes, it is! So we can get the scope. Improve our accuracy. Buy the key. As we do. Could buy the health upgrade as well, but... I'd rather buy the scope. I wonder if it says in the flavor text that it boosts damage. No, it just says increases accuracy. I'm told, I don't know 100% if it actually does work that way, but I'm told... Ah, it does find secret rooms. That's very interesting. Not necessary, though. How far? Mm. The moon scraper. Well, well. Well, well. It's fine. I mean, we don't really need a gun because the boss is going to be easy territory. Oh, it's the bird. Big bird. Hello, big bird. Oh, hello. Okay, careful. Steady. Now, I might fuck this up. I'm very tired today. So what I've been doing is, in an attempt to gain some sort of semblance of a responsible lifestyle, 
instead of waking up at like 2 p.m. and going to bed at like 5 a.m. like an idiot, I am now um, attempting at least to wake myself up in the morning. So I've got up at 9 a.m. twice in a row now, two days in a row. And I'm fucking tired. <laughs> no amount of coffee or caffeine will not make me tired, so... I'm a little bit rougher in the edges. But I think, I think it'll be better for me. I want to be more productive, you see. I'm like wasting all my time by fucking sleeping like a big idiot. So the aim, the goal, the dream is to become more productive. And hopefully it'll work. So it's going to be like a week of hell of me trying to wake up at 8am, 9am. Steady. And then after a week I should be fine. I've been told it's usually about a week to reset your sleep schedule-ish. Your, your sleep cycles, as they say. Oh no. The name has never been more apt. Keys and stuff would be nice. Ah, key is good. Armor is nice. The tearjerker sucks. It's a weapon for fools. Um. Alright, let's see if there's a secret room in here. There's probably not. I think there can only be one secret room plus the... But, uh, but, but there, that, that shows you there can be a secret room and the, the fireplace room. Secret room as well. Right, we'll let him have the ammo. I think we just leave. Yeah, we just leave. We just leave. Done well. We got our health up. We done what we could. Also got an armor piece. Very important. That will at least let us get hit once without losing our fancy dancy sword. Don't need the ammo. I believe the damage shrine does work with the sword projectile, so that could be something to look into as well if we find one. I'd quite happily give up a health in place of damage. Of course I would. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I love... Do you know what I love about the bullet? His rolling animation is fucking hilarious! Hilarious. Because he gives it the whole, you know, get the body over it. Wah! Alright. We're doing well. Concentrating. We're getting drops, although drops that I don't really need. At least we're not the robot. That's all I'll say. At least we ain't the robot. Good. So, shop man. Could buy a key, could buy a bunch of stuff. We'll see what he has on offer. The keys, but the rest of it's all kind of shitty. Oh, I didn't do the, the game. I forgot about the game. I didn't, well, we wouldn't have done it anyway. We had no money for it. I would much rather have bought the scope and the the key, if I'm being honest. So that was probably what happened subconsciously. My brain was like, yeah, you've not got any money left. You big idiot. Yo, the scope helps with the sword, eh? Hold on, let's see if I can... I think it does. I think it makes it slightly more accurate. Although I can't be sure. That's very nice. It's not so nice. <laughs> um, yes. So the serious cannon. We'll have a look at the description of it in just a wee second. I don't think it's that good, if I'm being honest. I feel like it's kind of like more of a joke type weapon. Ah, no, maybe it is really good. Whenever I've used it, I get confused because there's so much fucking going on around the screen. Just cannonballs flying everywhere. Nice. Nice. Alright. So the serious cannon. Serious power, launches cannonballs, can't be stopped by anything but a solid wall. So it bounces about. Ah, serious Sam. I see. I see. I get it. Fires tears with momentum. I don't really care about the tearjerker at all. Let's finish off this side over here. But nice, we can buy a key. I wonder if the cannonball, the serious cannon, whatever it's called, the serious cannon, I wonder if it's actually good and I've just not given it at the right time. So we should maybe give it a shot and see if it's got any hidden potential, perhaps. Because you never know, there's always some hidden stuff going on, like... People are always coming to me and saying, Damn, did you know that if you've got the scope, it gives, you know, rifles buff damage, or if you've got, you know, this, or the gun soul, or that, or, you know. There's a lot going on that we don't know yet. Or that people know and not everyone knows, I guess is the best way to say it. Ah, oh, fuck. We 
Where's the door? This is kind of stupid. Um. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> what a dumb room. What a dumb room. Oh, at least I know kind of how to do the room. I mean, there's probably a very quick way to get through that. That room on a speed run though would be a pain in the arse. That may be the first time I've done that room without getting hit though. Ah, oh, that was close. Very close indeed. Yeah, the scope definitely buffs the damage on this. It feels more, it feels like a tighter aim than you normally get with the sword. Which is easy for us. Easy to hit the target. The sword's usually quite accurate anyway. Having a little buff to that, not bad at all. Should be approaching the boss room sometime soon. Hopefully, maybe, perhaps, mayhaps. Be interesting to throw a singularity down on. Oh, does the singularity approach the center of the room? I've never seen it do that before. How, how interesting. The singularity might be a lot better than I thought it was. Maybe it's just not good for bosses. I need to be careful not to hit a chest with a sword because it will just fucking break straight up. I think it breaks straight If you hit it with the sword and the projectile, I think it just, you know, shatters into pieces. So we could get the plague pistol. Don't think it's that good. Oh, that's amazing. That's so good. As the bullet, that's amazing. Okay, that's very good. So, nano machines. The nano machines gain armor when damaged several times. Not only that, but it gives you two armor pieces to start. That is very good. That's probably one of the best ones you could get, I think. Aside from getting like a bunch of the the gun knights stuff. Hmm. What are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing? I, I guess I'll start with the cannonball and see what happens. Snake. I really just want to use the sword here, if I'm being honest. Oh no. It can't do it can't do harm to me. Oh shit. Oh, so that will destroy that. That's amazing. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. As long as I can keep him... Keep him in this position I've got him in. Got him right where I want him. Okay, the cannonball's a lot better than I gave it credit for. I've never seen it do so much damage to something. The skill splitter's really nice. Get the health up there. Right, so for our secret room, not that I'm gonna bother really. We can't exactly do much with that information. No blanks. Do I buy a key? I can't buy a key, I think they're 30, aren't they? Aye, alright, we leave. Is there anything else I want to do? Nah. Could use the shrine for ammo, but it would be a, an absolute waste at this point. So onwards and indeed downwards, I guess. Chamber 3. So really what we want to do is stack our health and... Do you know what? Fuck it. He's getting fucked on. He's gonna die as well. The explosion should kill him. Alright, so we try and use the singularity as much as possible. Oh, he didn't die to that? Interesting. Let's go up. Let's go up and see what we've got up here. Sally's. Oh no. It's fine. Totally fine. Rubber fucking bullets. Give them the old, how's your father? And then onwards to great glory. 
Sword in hand. Sword in hand, that's a lyric to... What is it again, is it? It's a power metal band of some kind. Me and my friend used to laugh about it all the time, because we used to think... What was it we used it for? We used sword in hand as code for... Something to do with dicks, and I can't remember what it was. It may have been go going for a slash with sword in hand, perhaps. <laughs> the things you say when you're 18. God damn. Hammer... F hammer... Ha hammer something? What, what was that band called? Hammerfall? It may actually be Hammerfall. Google it up. I bet it's Hammerfall. Sword in hand was the lyric. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, we buy a key. Before I will buy one key. Getting right in their face. Showing them who's boss. If we... Do you know what? It's a good room for a singularity, I think. Just because this thing can't shoot me, and I hate it. Denied! Denied, motherfucker. Right, we'll move over this side, as always. Makes it easier to deal with the enemies, as the two salamanders always spawn on this side. One day they're not going to spawn on this side and I'm going to look like an idiot. Oh, fuck. There we go. So we're really looking for a, a decent gun at this point. Something that we can, you know, whip out on occasion. In place of the sword. I mean, really... Oh, well, we've got the skull splitter, I guess. Or the skull spitter. The skull splitter sounds way more harrowing than the skull spitter. I'd rather someone spat my skull than split it, I guess. But, um, aye. Really, it's, it's in case we lose any health and we can't use the sword. We need something to fall back on. But the skull spitter's really nice. So I guess that, that makes up for, you know. I'm gonna open it. Kinda regret it, but... You know, here we are. It's the life we lead. You never know, cause the, the brown chests have a chance to have, like, table text and shit in it. So I think, with the game now dropping a lot of keys, I say dropping a lot of keys, we've not seen one key drop yet apart from the boss, but... With drops being buffed, shall we say, drops being buffed, I feel like opening brown chests is now more of a viable strategy. Instead of just being like, oh fuck it, I'll just break it open and see what's up. Oh yeah, I didn't speak to Frifle, I don't know if I've got a quest. Um, we may have a quest, but I'm not sure. It'd be cool if there was like a way to see Frifle's quest while you're on a quest. Maybe you can. Maybe I've just never looked. Hold on. Does the Ammo Nomicon have a quest component? There's still a lot of guns I haven't seen. Funnily enough. That'll be stuff that I haven't unlocked, I guess, but... Nah, no quests. Still haven't seen whoever this fella is. One day. One day. Right. Um, this room, or this area looks interesting. There's a lot to, to view. Might open that up. If we get one random key drop, I'll 100% I'll open that shit up. It could be a good vendor. It could have wings. It could have all sorts of cool stuff. Bit of curse for flight. Always a delight, is the old, how the old saying goes. That's what my old pappy always says. Go. Very nice. Mm, we'll open it. That is ghost bullets. No idea how that works in the context of the run. I assume that means that our sword bits pass through enemies. Don't they do that anyway? So ghost bullets are not very good with rocket powered bullets or whatever ones explode on impact. Ah oh, shit. Wait, no, they didn't pass through before, did they? Or did they? I can't tell, I have no idea. I'm out my gourd. I think the sword bits may pass through before. So it's maybe a, a, a wasted passive. Ah, well it's fine, we can use it with other weapons I guess. I wonder how that makes the skull spitter. I think that does that anyway. Oh, but that's exciting though. 
beam weapons with ghost bullets. I've never actually had that combo before. That could be good. Alright, exciting. We have stuff. Okay. Oh, fucking righty. Just keep on pushing on. Keep on pushing on and see if we can get some more passives. Yeah, the sword didn't pass through before, which makes us very good. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. What is this fucking walk of shame? This must be the boss room over here then. Given the layout. If there's no uh, teleport pads in the local vicinity, it means the next room probably has one, which means that's probably going to be the boss, given that we searched the whole floor. Which means, if the boss is going up the way, what boss is that? The tank, I think. Possibly. How much are your keys? Good, sir. Let's open up the door. Let's open up the door. Let's see, let's see what's behind the door. What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Let's have a swatch. Knew it. Knew it. Fine. I can't do anything with it, though. That's a very expensive. Hmm. Fuck. It's a shame. Even if we did get the key drop, we wouldn't have had enough money to buy it anyway. Unless we get lucky as, uh, as the tank guy. This is kind of scary. I kind of want him to shoot out. Oh, fuck. This stuff here. Because I can just get rid of it with my... Fuck you! AK man. Oh, fuck me. I should have blanked. Okay, this is a lot more harrowing than... ...than it should be. It's because this fucking guy. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have got hit there. I brought disgrace on my whole family. What the fuck was that? Is he throwing off grenades or something? The whole arena is fucked. Fuck you. Fuck this. Oh, what? Balls to this fucking fight. See, that's what I was trying to do is, you know, get rid of it in midair, so... At least we retain one armor piece, that's all that matters. Ah, oh, fuck. Kill the tank. Balls, that was a terrible fight. Not good at all. Estes? Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, I think I'd rather have the Singularity, because it's more interesting than the Estus. Estus is like, you know, Dark Souls, it heals you. We retain one blank. No idea what the secret room is. Um, maybe the shop? We'll try the shop, why not? Nah. Balls, balls, balls. Wait, hold on, I've got an idea. Maybe, maybe... Maybe I can confuse the situation with a singularity here. Hmm. You never know. It was worth a try. I really want the wings. It was worth a try. Alright, let's move on. Yes, Mr. Rat. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, we have good health. Not very good armor, but that's fine. We can build that back up again. Our weapon set is probably enough. I mean, the sword itself is good enough. As you can see. So it's just survival of the bulletist. Could do with a few more passives, perhaps. The sword, if we don't get any damage on this, the sword's going to start to slow up a little. 
given that the enemies start to gain lots more health as you go floor to floor. So what used to take, what, like three sword bits will take four, five, six, you know. Either that or I just play slow as fuck with my infinite ammo sword and take no damage. The cannonball! The cannon fucking, the serious cannon is not actually that bad. Was it given a buff or was it always good? I guess it must be good if it was in the gold chest. I don't know why I always thought it was kind of potatoey. Alright. Money. Oh, fuck. I wasn't paying attention. I was busy. I was paying attention to the money. I was like, money, come on. Get in my pocket. Right. If we get hit, we've got health on the ground, I think. Which is fine. We should also get an armor piece if we get hit again. Let's just not get hit again, though. Let's uh, make an agreement not to get hit again. Hmm. Yes. Ooh, it's gonna be a tough one. Less singularity this shit, why not? Why the fuck not? On the hole, boys! How do they fight against the singularity so well? Nice. This is probably a big room. Nah, it's reasonably sized. As long as they don't get the book out, as long as they keep their books in their pockets. All I care about. Wizard. Whew. Is this a corridor or a chest room? Yeah, it's just a shitty little corridor. Alright. We really need a bit of armor. So that I can feel a bit safer about what's going on. Because one boss could really fuck this up. It's happened to me before. You go, you, you do well as the bullet and then one boss fight totally wrecks you. Push you down to like one heart, and it uh, makes it all a bit, a bit scary. Damn. We need a lot of keys. We need a lot of keys. Hmm. We can work it out. We can get the key drops. We'll have enough money for at least one key. We need th three keys technically for all the chests, and I'm interested in opening all of them. Good. Good grenade! Oh, in fact, they don't hurt me. I don't get contact damage. One key. I'll try and finish the floor saving them up first. Or should we go and open the blue chest? Nah, we'll, we'll get the keys together first. This is going to be fun. It's going to be a good singularity. Yes. Oh, he tried to spawn in my ass, and I said no. The singularity actually saved me there. Alright, we should spam the singularity every room that's big. Or every room. Every room that's ready. Here we go, get rid of this fucking guy. Ghost bullets. Whoa! Nice. Uh, the Link fella. No, it's you. Oh, that's amazing. So if the boss really does fuck me, we can come back here. Do not... Right, hold on. Make mental note, because I will forget. I will always forget. How do I make a mental note? Right, what I'll do is I will put my car keys on my mouse pad, which will annoy me, which will remind me to not forget. <laughs> that That's the stage I'm at right now in my life. Oh, fuck. No, the, the dodge roll was, was good. But that is the stage I'm at in my life now. I'm at that age where I need to make reminders to myself. There's another key. Perfect. Otherwise, you know, forgetting happens. I'm going to put it in a more annoying position so that my mouse actually hits the keys. See, this is what I have to do. This is the life I lead. This is old age, lads. This is what happens. And I'm sure some of you older folks can uh, corroborate such information. That you get to a certain age where at once you had a good memory 
a very good memory, and now it's just like... You remember some things, but mostly it's a, a fucking blur. <laughs> oh, good times. I should do more brain training. You know, like, what, what's that game called? Doctor Fuckboy's fucking... Games? Right. Well, we can open one while we're here. Oh, that's amazing! That's so good! So, like I said earlier on, any armor pieces are very good. So this will give me an armor every floor, plus we get one on pickup. So that's nice. It's pretty good. We'll buy a key from the shop. Or we'll be lucky enough to... Maybe we'll wait to the end. We should hopefully make some good money from this room. Right. We're doing well. That's amazing. Okay, we're back in the driving seat. We shouldn't- we shouldn't get fucked by the boss. It's possible, but it shouldn't happen. And even if we do, we've got the fairy. Singularity does not fuck about at all, eh? Nice. Alright, shot my nookies! Fair enough. There are armor pieces, but I, I don't think we need to buy them given that we've got nano machines and the. the boots. We'll open the blue chest. That's. It's not that good. It's alright. It's not that good. So we're relying on a key from the boss. I have no idea where the secret room is. Oh, wait, I do. I do. I'm standing right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the tunnel! For the seat, it's cause I'm tired, I'm telling you. It's cause I've woke up very early this morning. You have to be patient with me. If I'm to be more productive, you just have to put out with my bullshit as I'm tired. <laughs> it's the way it is. It's the way it is. Oh, it's this guy. Oh yeah, um, someone said if you stand in here, you're safe. It works! The theory fits! The bra fits! I need to be nice and slow with this. Okay. We stand here, and the High Priest doesn't stand a chance! He can't even melee us, that's the thing, he can't even do contact damage. Ho! Oh, oh. Ho! Come on in, boys. Right, stand away from the walls, because it will spawn shit inside you. Good. I need to not be so nervous about him touching me because he cannot hurt me by, by contact damage. It's impossible. No. Oh. Do you see that bullet come from behind? Oh no, it's all over, isn't it? We did get an ano machines proc, which is fine. Now I could use a different weapon and it'd probably be better. But the sword is just safe. I mean, that works fairly well on that particular attack. Ah, balls. If we get through this with full health, though, I'll be happy. Good time to change the sword, also. Not bad. Oh, it's balls. Hell's bells. Hell's bells. Good. Okay, that wasn't perfect, but that's much better than it has been in the past. I've been fucked by that boss many times. Oh, we got a key as well. Got two keys and the heart of ice. Okay, that makes up for some stuff. 
Whew. Okay. Maybe we'll get the god drop. Maybe we'll get something amazing. So next floor, we'll start with two armor. Whoop. And, uh, oh, that's fucking fantastic. Couldn't have asked for a better weapon. The mega hand is excellent. All right. We're looking good. We're feeling good. Things are nice. We don't need to worry about the fairy. Is there anything in the shop worth purchasing? We could buy some armor. I don't think we will. We'll save our money because the last floor always has something interesting. In terms of passives or, you know, something fun in the shop. I didn't use my singularity, by the way. I forgot halfway through. I think it was probably better without the singularity. Maybe. Nah, probably not. The fuck is this? Ooh. Ooh! Just in case there's like a secret room gelling. Now, the M16's awesome. We can't afford it though. What we can buy is double vision. I'll buy the double vision. Singularity's been good for us so far, but the double vision is going to be excellent. I think we're done here, aren't we? Aye, we are. Okay. Whew, halfway there. Well, halfway roughly, I'd say. Over halfway, two thirds. We've got basically the two hardest floors, so that's more than half. This is basically, this is where the game starts, essentially. <laughs> hmm. The real Dark Souls begins here. He can't hurt me. Now, as am I mistaken that it does not work with the sword? I think it does not work with the sword. Or if it does, it's not very obvious. It might, it might. It didn't feel like it. It's still good to have though. Bookman. Fuck off out here with that nonsense. Ah, balls. Ah, balls. Your powers are no good here. Where is the wizard? There we go. No money for that? What a world we live in. What a life. Wait, when did I get another key? Oh yeah, that, uh, yeah, boss fight, of course. Yes, press the advantage, chase the wizard down. Go for gold. We could use the mega hand for a bit as well, you know, to one shot some scrubs. Although I'm gonna save the mega hand and ammo for like the end, because against the dragon, we should be fine. The sword will make a mockery of the dragon fight. But on the last floor, the sword's only as good as your health, and it can sometimes be a bit scary. I don't know. The Mega Hand, I want to keep in reserve for those special moments in time. Ooh, okay, so that's the quest there. That answers my question. There we go, the peak. Peaker's advantage. I can probably stand here and cheese, I think. Maybe, yes, cheese. There is a cheese called Stinking Bishop, so I'm told. What a name. What a name for a food. Ah. Uh, well. I, I mean, hmm. I guess we're buying a key then, aren't we? No passives, two... Well, one bad weapon, one kind of average weapon. The icebreaker's not bad. I think the, the, the downside to the icebreaker is... Oh wait, no, this definitely works with double vision. The rate at which he just got fucked on... ...was too good. But the icebreaker's fine, it's just slow on the reload, I think, is the problem. And you don't get enough of the big bullet that, you know, is to break the ice. I'd still you. I mean, if I was at a push and it was like either base weapon or icebreaker, icebreaker all the way. Because it freezes enemies, that's a good thing. Maybe that's, maybe it is good then. I don't know. Good against the enemies in rooms, not so much against bosses. 
An extra blank should mean that we'll get a master round from the boss. We should we should have had we should have had all the master rounds at this point, to be fair. There are no excuses at this point. At this level, we can't excuse ourselves. See, so he tries. Tries to give me a nibble on the ankles, but I'm like, nah, not at all. Balls. 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 Aha, hard counter, motherfucker. Hard countered. Right, let's not let this guy get too close. This should be our chest room. Hopefully something good. Passives. Nice health item, perhaps. That's fine. I mean, it's not the best health item, but it'll do. I'd much prefer something that gave armor, but, you know, when in Rome, fuck Caesar, someone said. I don't know. Not sure if I agree, but roll the bones. I think we should roll the bones later. Okay, car keys. Car keys on the mouse pad. The car keys are out in the bowl. Mix them up. Fucking winner takes all. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do that after we kill the dragon because I don't want to get cursed essentially and get a jam dragon so it's, it's wise to do that at the end of the floor because we may get some sort of benefit from it you know something good oh my god it's all over fuck you you dick i almost said the c word it's not a day for c words why did that shoot i charged it but why did it fire I knew it. I need to be careful here. There we go. Have the Isaac gun to the face. Was there armor in the shop? Because that could be worth a purchase. So yes, we need a key drop. We hmm. do we buy the icebreaker? That's the thing. Do we buy? It? I, I should really gun munch the the tear the tear jerker. What do we have that I could gun munch? That's not particularly good. This and this might be worth it, perhaps, for something a bit better. What would we like though? What would be really good? Stinger, perhaps. The Judge, the Deckard. Oh, the Deckard would be lovely. Let's see if they've got any money in them. Always worth a little check. Because you never know, it can make up the difference between a key or a passive and not. So always break those fuckers open when you have a chance. These guys are... A bit too aggressive for my liking. The old weathered bullet. Oh, no, no. We got an armor piece back, right? But we lost a little bit of health. Uh, calculated. Calculated health loss. It was all part of my plan. It's all part of my plan to get that armor piece back. We have four blanks as well. That's a, a, a lot for the boss. Made a terrible mistake, wizard man. Okay, this should link around to the starting room. Ah, oh, it's this room. I'm getting better at this room. Getting much better at it. I seem to be dealing with it with relative ease more and more now.
All right, very good. Little corridor. Right, what have we still got left? Just towards the boss then. So we buy the key. How much is the blank? Probably gonna buy the blank as well. She doesn't care about shooting the shop, does she? Nah. She's not as bad as those other fuckers. Testing for secret room show. You never know where they might be. You never know where. Um. Right, we'll open the chest. And that conveniently takes us round to the boss room. Something good, perhaps. That's nice. The jolter is always is always nice to have. I might as well walk. I've started. The teleport would be useless by now. All right. All in all, though, not a bad run. I mean, we are the bullet, which makes it easy. We're playing easy mode, essentially. Let's try not burn the cape. Right, we need to remember to come back here and do these keys. In the bowl. Um, do I start with the jolter? And I think I do. I think I do. To get as much damage out as possible in the early fight. Oh my fucking god, what was that? Hup. That's good. And then... It's fine. I believe, I'm not sure if this is true, but I believe the bullet has a slightly weaker dodge roll. Let's just use a blank here. Not again. Fuck. Well, it's all over now, isn't it? We're getting all the worst waves. Ah, shit. At this point, there's no point even worrying about dodging. We're almost there. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Could have been a lot worse. What do we want to use against the heart? Well, what we do want to use here is the sword, just to get through this shit. Ah. Sword makes this part of the fight really be very easy. Right, let's make our decisions. What is good against this thing? The phoenix might actually be enough here. Oh, it's potato damage though. That doesn't really do enough either. Probably the Jolter of the Mega Hand. There we go, just carve our way through. At least we're gonna have double vision for the next attempt. Uh, which we'll use with this, maybe? Sword very strong. Very good. It's good to us. Right, hold on. Let's try that. I believe in this. Maybe this gun isn't as bad as I thought. Then again, it was doing double damage on a target. And when anything does double damage, it tends to be kind of, you know, impressive. Alright. Oh, I got the Ancient Hero's Bandana! Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder what the ancient hero's bandana is. Oh, I got the hammer unlocked. Apparently. The cobalt hammer. I guess that's for beating the game of the bullet. Or, I don't know, for beating this floor a certain number of times, maybe. Was there health in the shop? But you get hit on that fight and finish him with one blank is not exactly ideal. Um... Am I sure there wasn't a secret room down here? Because if I was a secret room, I'd kind of want to be chilling. No? Maybe in the gun muncher room, actually? Or maybe it's just in a random room and I've not seen it. Perhaps. Mayhaps. We're rolling those goddamn bones, though. Oh, it's good. We got... See, we did get cursed, though. I had a sneaking suspicion of curse. Right, what doesn't have ammo? What sucks? The tearjerker's absolutely going in. Unfortunately, I don't like the tearjerker at all. In you go, you bastard. Um, and then the jolter has no ammo. And then again, the cannon... Uh, the jolter is good, though. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll give it the jolter. It's a shame. It's a shame. We like the jolter. But, you know, when the ammo's low, we might as well recycle it and get something else. So the science cannon? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Um, I have no idea where the secret room is. Not a fucking clue. My guess would have been this room, though. Maybe if it wasn't in the item rooms, then... Nah. Alright, let's go, then. At least we got back to full health. That's that's the dream, really. Because now the sword's back in business. And we're going to have another armor piece as we go into the last floor. So everything's looking pretty good. It's looking not bad. Nah, oh, come on. It's not my fault these stone things weren't appearing. Right, down we go. Mm. We're making pretty good time. 52 minutes to here. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. That's just the power of the bullet, though. Bullet man got a bit of sass. Right, the age-old fucking question, which way do we start? Because really what I want to do is get to the boss as soon as possible. There's no points for fucking clearing the floor, you know? If you want to clear the floor, be my guest. I ain't fucking doing it, though. Oh, kill that guy, kill that guy. Kill that guy. Not him. Kill this guy. There, okay, good. So all I really care about is the man with the sugarly bullets. I don't like paths that lead down. I don't know why. Ah, oh, fuck. Not a fan of paths that lead to nowhere either, though. Right, what I need to remember is they can't actually harm me. I'm pretty sure even... Ah, oh, shit. This guy up front here, the, the cursed one, the jammed jelly man. Can't really do shit. Plus, they would do a whole heart of damage anyway. Get him while he's being sick. Get him while he's down. Sugarly bullets! No! Sugarly bullets are not allowed. Woo! Okay. So, I guess down is the only way. Really, this is just a case of we're trying to save as much ammo for the boss fight as possible. I know we've got really good guns that we can use, but... You know what, let's use the Mega Hand a little. But I think the... the Lux cannon thing, whatever it's called, the crystal... This thing's not that great against bosses, it's more like good against small individual targets, you can like one shot like that. That's more what I use the, the Mega Hand for. I should shred this guy pretty easily. Yeah. I'm breaking my own rules here. Pop pop man, pop pop bullets are kind of shitty as well. They do like homing shots and shit. 
fuck? It is through that room. I hate this. I mean, it's fine because we've not lost any health. We've actually gained armor by doing it, but... I could have made my life so much easier. <laughs> right, line him up. Knock him down. And from here, we want to try and collect as many blanks as is humanly possible. Because if we get, like, a good three or four blanks for the boss, that should carry us. Well, we have the sword anyway. Like, we shouldn't have any issues here. The only issue will be when it comes to guns and not having enough firepower, I think. Might be a problem. Tied here, sugarly bullets and all that. Right, so as you see, this was the right way all along. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, if we get like a fairly one directional path to the boss, that'd be quite nice. Like, th the anti dream, the nightmare, as they say, would be to end up in a, in a room with like four possibilities and one of them would take you like a big long path. You lose a lot of health, it's all very scary. I've had a bit of practice against the uh, the end boss on stream, so I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be fine. Quietly optimistic. Then again, anytime I've ever spoke of optimism, you know, the age-old, if Tam can find a way to fuck it, he's going to find a way. I'll find a way. I don't mean to. It just it happens. It's a natural part of my existence, I think. <laughs> okay, we're good. We've got a skeleton here, though. Fuck. Kind of scary. Okay. This is where we just peek out. Give him the sword. Give him the sharp end. I'm still not convinced that the double vision does anything with the sword. It doesn't feel like it does. Good. Alright, we're still going. Doing well. Now, this is when things start to get a bit confusing. When there's multiple paths to travel. Okay, slimes all day, every day. Apart from this guy, I don't like that guy. Anyone with bullets that defy the laws of physics? Oh, the blank. We gamble this path. This is where it all gets a bit hairy. It's like, is this the right way? This could be the right way. Okay, I need to remember that thing in the middle is not actually an enemy. It's a fucking... Environmental hazard. This room can be a bit scary. If you're not prepared for the fireballs, it's, uh, you know, can be tough. Book must die. Fuck. Fuck! Why am I not dodging? I guess because I expect the sword to deflect the shots. Have we seen any health drop on the floor? We haven't. Okay, that's a little scary. Still, though, we come prepared with guns, so in the event of... Ah, oh, this room's gonna suck. This room is full of sugarly bullets, and I hate it. The shot grub guys are the worst motherfuckers in town. And a wizard as well. Oh, fuck. I need to find where the wizard is. The backstab. Um, right. We're still, we're still going. Be careful of the fire. Fuck. Got this man exactly where I want him. Woo. 
Okay. That might connect. Fuck. I don't like this room. Okay, that makes this a lot easier. Now it's just the shot grub, guys. Fuck. Fuck. One down. Come on. Now there's another guy over here? No, oh, there is. Boo! Okay. This room kind of makes me think there would be a secret room. I could have teleported out, I guess, instead of fighting it, but it might be worth getting a room drop. You know, like a, a piece of armor, for instance. Oh my god. It's all fucking over. Did I charm the other one? I think I did. This is why the science cannon isn't very good in the late game. Could have gone for double laser stuff, but not worth. Not worth. Maybe we will. Fuck it. How did he almost hit me with that bullet? That's nuts. He like shot and it almost went round the corner. Oh, it's good. Whew, okay, okay. Still alive. The boss room might be that way, but I'm hopeful that this- Oh, it's good! Okay. Right, concentration. Can move the keys now, keys are out of the bowl. I mean, look at that, that's a lot of rooms to clear. To get to the boss. But we, we we came fairly, you know. Well, we didn't actually. We went a big fucking loop there. If we just went right and continued along and up, we could have been there a lot quicker. But we came through with full health. Full fucking stuff. Right, time to be taught a lesson in respect. Mr. Boss Man. Fuck, I'll use this just in case. Oh my god. Fuck, this guy's jammed. He's giving up at the ball, Marley. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. Fuck. The hemorrhage is real now. So I need to do, like, fuck. I can't do it. I know what I'm supposed to do in that wave, I just can't do it. Charge it. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck me. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm all over the place here. Fuck me. Is that enough health to get through this? Probably not. I've fuck oh wait, maybe it is actually. 
Hold on. Right. Maybe I can just make it through, because we're going to get armor pieces now and again. I just need to concentrate time. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. I'm putting too much... Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm putting too much pressure on myself. Let's just forget about everything. It'll be fine. We're going to use this thing. And it's going to shred him. Can't believe I used all my blanks on the first wave. First wave's arguably the hardest, though, I think. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck balls. Oh, no. Fuck me! Oh, my God. I'm, I'm getting absolutely fucked on. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. No, no. I don't think I can do the last wave on one heart. <laughs> Shit! Why? Ah, oh, balls. It's usually here that I get hit. Ah. Oh. It's all over. It's all over. Po! It's all over! Ah, oh, fuck me! God damn it, man. I really need to practice this boss. I find it so hard um, in the first wave. I really need to practice the first wave. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff. And I'll see you next time.